Well, Thunderbolts.com here with Jordan Mathis of the women's cross country team. Jordan, just a few days away from the NCAA championships, the women's team has qualified, finishing fifth in the region two weeks ago. Um, obviously, this was the goal uh, coming in uh, August, getting back together, figuring this team out. Um, how, how excited is this team to, to, to get on that plane and, and get to St. Louis, St. Leo, Florida? It's really exciting. Like you said, like last weekend or two weekends ago, got fifth at regionals, so we got in. Um, that was the goal of the whole season. So now it's just kind of like the cherry on top of the cake. We get to go have fun and race at nationals. Um, you know, it's my last race as a senior, so to be able to end it at a national cross country meet, it's pretty exciting. For you, Em, here with Dante Carter of the men's cross country team. About to head out to the NCAA Championships on Saturday in St. Le St. Leo, Florida. Uh, Dante, um, you guys have had your, your kind of season goals and leading up to this point, um, but I don't think your ultimate goal is getting to the championships. Um, I think you guys have something a little, a little bigger than that with this team. Um, kind of talk about how in August your goals were and, and how you've met them and, and what you're expecting on Saturday. Well, to be honest with you, Dax, it's it's not just August that we've been uh, planning for this. I mean, we've been planning for this for, for a while now, um, years, and uh, we finally have the team that's capable of making a difference. So um, it, it means everything that at the end we are finally <laughs> at a point to where we can, you know, fight with some of the top names in the, in the nation. Um, in the beginning of the season, you know, I myself struggled uh, to kind of be up with with uh, the top three, and um, it was it was tough because you know I know that I, I was kind of I felt like I was letting them down, and so now you know we have Derek, uh, Paul, and Marcella who've always been in the top. Um, it, they they now have company <laughs> in the form of honestly our entire team. I mean our top seven is just you know they're deadly. So I'm really excited to see at this point what can we do when you know, we're on the big stage. Absolutely, I think it helps a lot, you know. We race against the best every day. Adam was ranked number one, Western, what, fourth or something. So we literally toe the line with those girls every day. And like Coach always says, they put their pants on one leg at a time like everyone else. So we're always out there racing with the best. And so just another race and we're excited to go out there and race them one more time. Obviously, it's my last race uh, as, a, as a senior here. And, um, but, it's weird, I don't look at it at the, as the end. Um, it's kind of, although yes, I do recognize that this is the last time that I'll put on a jersey as a cross country athlete here. Um, it feels like the beginning because we have such a young team and to be able to help, um, you know, people like Michael Duran, who, you know, honestly is just extremely talented, to be able to, to help him and kind of help nurture the future of our, of our team, it's, it feels like we're starting something, even though I know this is the, the end for me. I think as a senior, going out to my last race is just to, you know, put it all out there and have fun and enjoy every moment of it. You know, it's hard in the middle of a cross-country race to be like, oh, I love cross-country. You, you're questioning why you do it at that point, but, you know, just to literally enjoy every moment of it and to enjoy it with those five other girls on the course because no one gets a team like, like we have right now, so they're the six best girls that anyone could ask for. So literally just enjoy every moment with them. Um, we do a really good job of, uh, you know, using the moments that we have. You know, we're not looking forward, we're not, we're not thinking back to the past this weekend. We're going to be in the moment this weekend. So we have no choice with, I mean, all the crazy exciting people that we have on the team. I mean, Devondrick Walker, I mean, if you've ever met him, you know that he's is going to be a fun weekend regardless, you know. So I'm really excited to, to, to go, not only just for the chance to, you know, just be tough with my team, but to also enjoy life with them, you know, in this last uh, moment in cross country. So.